Meteorologist Kate Bilo is in our CBS Philadelphia next weather sphere with today's weather. Another nice one, but temperatures are going to get more seasonable. Kate. Yeah, by tomorrow, Jim, it's going to be feeling more like October is supposed to feel. Let's put it that way, or more like a typical October day. We had a record breaker yesterday, 84 degrees yesterday, and today another day where we may touch the 80 mark, which doesn't happen all that often when your average high is only 65. Our record for today, by the way, though, is in the uh, is in the upper 80s, 87 degrees. I'm just noticing my text is off the box there up in Plymouth Meeting, but that is Plymouth Meeting looking beautiful fall foliage really bursting into color Bethlehem as well. You can see the color along the mountain there in Margate. A few more clouds this morning. We'll have cloud cover down the shore on and off throughout the day thanks to a system lurking off the coast. But otherwise it's bright and sunny and the fall foliage framed against another deep blue sky will be uh, something to behold today, especially if you're traveling along the northeast extension. So the farther north you go, the more color you will see peak color right now in the Poconos and in the northern parts of the Lehigh Valley, Northampton County, Lehigh County. We're seeing moderate to near peak foliage across much of the Lehigh Valley and then even further south across much of interior South Jersey, parts of Delaware and almost all of southeastern Pennsylvania. We are at high foliage uh, color right now, not peak just yet, but moderate to high color looks beautiful. We do need the rain though because all of, the, of those leaves falling on the ground, just getting crunchy, just getting dry, that dry brush on the ground. That is a fire risk and especially today and tomorrow we are seeing some very strong winds start to pick up and that will just enhance the possibility for fires to spread rapidly. 24 days without rain now. Our last measurable rain was September 28th and we picked up only 0.11 inches. The record is 29 days straight without rain. That was back in 1874. I don't think anyone alive remembers that uh, stretch there. That's how long it has been since we've gone 29 days without rain. It looks like we may break the record if we get to Monday without any rainfall and the current forecast does keep it dry through Monday. So temperatures right now we're waking up to crisp and comfy conditions. It's not cold, but it's not warm either. It's comfortable. Clouds and radar showing our system off the coast. Most of this will stay out to sea, but you can see we've got some cloud cover just starting to drift back toward the shore points, and that's what you're seeing along the coast this morning. We'll stay dry. Heading up into the uh, Great Lakes region, that's where you can see a front starting to slide towards us. That front does have some showers with it up across parts of eastern Canada, but does not have enough moisture to work with as it moves southward. So let's take you through the day. I'm going to pull up our local map here and we'll start off with a look at today's highs. And I also want to show you the wind direction as well. We'll turn on the winds, we'll turn on the clouds. So seeing some clouds down the shore this morning, they, they will kind of fizzle as the day goes on, but it's a southwest wind today and that's going to help temperatures really get nice and warm. We're looking at low 80s, Philadelphia, Wilmington, upper 70s in Millville. The clouds that just rolled through, that's our cold front. And then tomorrow, winds are out of the north. A cooler, dry breeze. And look at the difference tomorrow. With that cool north, northwest wind, highs are only in the mid 60s. So a big drop in the mercury, 68 the high tomorrow in Millville. Up across the northern sections of the region, we are looking at low 60s for tomorrow's highs. So big changes on the way. And that cool breeze will be with us throughout the day tomorrow as well. You're going to feel a breeze today as well out ahead of that cold front coming in out of the south and southwest. It's not a cool breeze, but you will feel those winds really start to pick up as the day goes on. So you can see the difference. We go from 80 today to 66 tomorrow. Now tomorrow morning actually starts off relatively mild, but temperatures just go nowhere. And then Friday morning is chilly and sunny in the afternoon, 66 the high on Friday. Our high temperature trend again, ups and downs continue. Normal is 65. We're pretty close here today, or I should say tomorrow and Friday. Saturday, we're back to 70 and then another cold front right here. Saturday into Sunday, that one also looks to come through dry. Maybe a stray sprinkle, but you can see how the moisture just fizzles Friday night into Saturday morning. The cool air is on a bit of a delay, really starting to sink in by Sunday. That's when you will feel the chill with highs only in the 50s. So we go from 80 today to just 59 by Sunday. We're back to 63 Monday and into the 70s again next week. And again, if we get here with no rain, it's a record stretch of dry days.